this is the moment of truth. Don't bark at the Christmas tree. It's like a zombie apocalypse. Oh, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> I ordered myself the iPhone 12 Pro. Zizi come through with the home takeaway. You know when at the time you thought something was a good decision? She was slumped over the steering wheel. We didn't know if she was dead. Happy Monday morning. Just kidding. Guess who accidentally lost the footage of Monday? <laughs> Me. But to be honest, all I filmed on Monday was me saying I had a really busy work day and I'm going to see you tomorrow. <laughs> so you've not missed out on much, don't you worry. Happy to announce I did indeed have a productive Monday. It was a very busy day, so now let's crack on with the rest of the vlog. Enjoy. Who's a dipstick? I'm a dipstick. Morning. Happy Tuesday. It's half past two and today's been a lot less productive than yesterday. Throughout the day, I like doing bits and bobs, like I was doing yesterday, like homey bits and things like that, and pottering about. But when it comes to doing actual work stuff, I'm really struggling to do it during the daytime. And then it gets to the evening, and I'm like, right, I'm gonna smash it out all now. I don't know why that happens. I mean, I always get my work done. I just leave it so late in the day. Anyway, I'm rambling already. Look at these big boxes behind me. This arrived this morning. It's actually a big delivery day at home today. <laughs> Very exciting, I love a delivery day. Although I am on a spending ban for lockdown. These are things that have been ordered before lockdown, so it doesn't really count. But these are actually from mum and dad's bedroom. We are having their bedroom renovated. The decorator is actually in all this week these lockdown rules man they're so confusing like you can't go to someone's house to socialize but you can go if it's for work it's an odd one but anyway the bedroom renovation is going ahead there's not like loads of workmen in the house obviously there's one decorator and then there will be one guy to come and fit the carpet like i was saying these arrived this morning for my mum and dad's room i really like these and doing this bedroom because i've been in charge of all the decor it's made me so excited to have my own house one day my style i don't think will be exactly the same as my mum and dad's bedroom but it will be similar they like the modern gray vibe i do like that i'm not really a fan of like crushed velvet headboards and mirrored furniture and stuff personally my mum and dad aren't that extreme either but they do like white gloss and things like that but anyway i really like these is what i'm trying to say so they're these gray ottomans they're from the range that were really affordable for what they are they were 65 pounds each and we got two of them and the plan for these is to replace the chairs that were once in my mum and dad's bedroom you know like the clothing chair where you shovel your clothes on. They didn't want those anymore, so we've got these instead, and they are so lovely. Can you see this? It's such nice quality. I would really recommend them. I really like them a lot. They look so luxury. I think half the stuff that's arriving for my mum and dad's bedroom, they don't even know is arriving because I've just ordered it all for them. I've not paid for it, and they have given me permission to do so. So never fear, I'm not just going mad on their debit cards. But like I mentioned, it's Tuesday. Went for a lovely long dog walk this morning. Oh my God, I forgot to say this yesterday, but this weekend I watched Coco on Disney Plus. I'd heard really good reviews of it and then when I posted that I was watching it on Instagram story loads of people replied saying get your tissues ready. I must have a cold heart because I didn't cry at it. I didn't think it was particularly sad. I know it's about like dead ancestors and stuff but I don't think it was sad. It was touching. It was nice. It was a good film. I do recommend watching it, but it's not like, it's not one of my favourite Disney films. And if you watched last week's vlog, I said that one of my lockdown goals was to watch at least three movies on Disney Plus this month. So one down, two to go. Coco is complete, but please do let me know any recommendations of Disney films. I have a really bad memory, so I've pretty much watched no Disney films because I can't remember them. I've got Princess Diaries on my watch list. I know I've seen that in the past, but I cannot remember a thing about it. What if I do actually have some sort of memory loss issue? I think it's a potential. That's how bad my memory is. Anyway, Coco, I'd give it a 7 out of 10. Oh. <laughs> do you want to tell everyone what's arrived or shall I? Look guys, this is a very uninteresting box on the outside, but the inside it's only the Christmas tree, in it? I'm so excited about this. The Christmas tree decorations, I've been buying them for quite a while now, but we never had the tree. <laughs> we usually get a real Christmas tree, but obviously this year with Sunny, I was really worried about her eating the pines like that drop off the tree. And also, I just thought, a puppy and a real tree in the lounge are just not gonna be a good mix, are they? We've gone for a fake Christmas tree, which I'm happy about, to be honest. I think it's better value for money. The place we normally get our Christmas tree from, like the real one, is actually really affordable. It's not a bad price for a Christmas tree, but I just think we're gonna have this fake one for the next 10 years. It works out a lot cheaper. The only thing is, got a bit of a dilemma now because this is a picture of the tree that we've bought online. Looks lovely. A couple of the reviews said it doesn't look exactly the same as the picture. So I kind of want to open it 
and have a look. But if I open it, the stuff's going to come out everywhere, innit? And it's going to be a nightmare to try and get it back in the box. But I can't leave it because what if I wait and then put it up and it's horrible? I'm going to open it. Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree. Oh na 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 na. Dog's looking at me like I'm mental. Oh, it's in a posh box, Sunny, because it's from John Lewis. I was actually really surprised at the prices of the John Lewis Christmas trees. To me, John Lewis is like mad posh. I thought their Christmas trees would be like £300. This one was, I think, 120 or 130 And we went to the range not long ago, and their Christmas trees were like 90 Mate, it's got its own house. So convenient, Sunny. Yeah. Oh, it's really heavy. She's like, hmm. It looks suspicious to me. It's not suspicious. It's Christmas. Don't bark at the Christmas tree. Oh God, that scared me. <laughs> okay, you can bark at it, Sunny. It's a bit scary. Yeah, I know. It made a noise. Please be a nice green. Oh, it is a nice green. I mean, it's still green in it, but it's cute. I just didn't want like a neon, you know? I wanted a nice dark green and that's what we've got. Oh, it looks really light on camera. In person, it's a really nice emerald green. Oh, that's so annoying. It looks so light on the camera. Let me edit this clip quickly and I'll show you the actual color. So this is the actual color of the tree. It's lovely. Hello everyone. Right, so it's a little bit later now. It's about 20 to five. No, half four, but it's so dark. I can't believe how early it gets dark these days. I sound like such an old lady, but doesn't it feel like it just come out of nowhere this winter? It's probably because we've all been in our houses every day. So no one's actually noticed it like a change. I'm just driving up to my dad's office because I'm uploading a bonus video tonight. It's only Tuesday and I don't usually upload Thursdays and Sunday mornings, but this bonus video, you might have watched it on my channel, you might have not. It's a gift package that Harrods Beauty very kindly sent me, but I'm very aware of the fact that it's not gonna be everyone's cup of tea. It's like a luxury skincare themed video and that's not really my usual audience. So I didn't wanna replace my usual upload on a Thursday with it. So I'm loading it as a bonus video instead. I've been editing it this afternoon. And our internet at home is mega slow. I don't know why. All our neighbours are fine. Like their internet is perfectly good. Our internet in our house is just horrendous. So I'm going to my dad's office because his internet's a lot faster. It took me a long time to say that. I don't know why. I've just rambled. I feel like I'm chatting to a friend when I've got my camera on in the car. Oh, roundabout. Still not my strong point. <laughs> Does anyone else, right, drive so much better when you're on your own? If I have a friend in the car, my driving, it's not horrendous but like it doesn't feel as safe as it does when there's just me i think it's because i'm more sure of my actions when it's only me because like if i get in an accident at least it's only me whereas if i'm with someone i'm like overthinking everything still and i've been driving for what four years now Hello. Hello. do you want a free coffee oh yeah thanks <laughs> sunny <laughs> thanks very much That's all right. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's now Wednesday. We are parked, which is why Sunny's on my lap. But we've come to Ikea this morning. They're open just for click and collect. Oh, am I boring you? Anyway, we've come to collect some bedroom furniture this morning. <laughs> it's a bit of a kerfuffle, the collection process. I'm just, <laughs> she looks massive. She looks like a Labrador from this angle. But when I was on the phone to them, Sunny burped and I couldn't stop laughing. So now we're just waiting and then apparently I'm gonna get a text message when our order's ready to collect. It's a bit like a drive-through for Ikea. Sunny barked when we arrived, obviously. Barked at the nice lady that offered us a coffee. Yeah, a lady came around, she's like, would you like a free coffee while you wait? And Sunny was like, Whoa! Wouldn't you? <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> Never ever seen the car park at Lakeside so empty. It's like a zombie apocalypse. Okay, so we have now come to a local Starbucks. I saw actually on TikTok that they do a drink that tastes... Oh, it's only seen a poo in the middle of the path. Oh, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> Okay, dog problem averted. So anyone else just sometimes gag when the dog doesn't poo? It's just disgusting sometimes. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, like I was saying, I saw on TikTok that Starbucks do a drink. <laughs> they do a drink that apparently tastes like Kinder Bueno. I love this combination Sunny's wearing today. Come show everyone. She's got a black jack harness on from Paws and Paws. 
with this lovely lead from Porcella. I've mentioned this a few times now. And we've also got the matching poo bag now as well for the harness. It's dark grey with little white hearts on it. Obviously the same design as the poo bag. So handy. And I love the pink bits on the lead as well. You look so smart. Oh, you're eating a stone. <laughs> Disappointing news, but Starbucks was closed because it's inside the cinema and the cinema's closed. Obviously, I didn't think about that. I didn't actually know there was a Starbucks here, so I didn't know it was inside. Um, so, the drinks did not happen today, but tomorrow we need to pop over to South End to return a couple of bits from the range, because the range is still open, which is weird, but I guess they sell like DIY stuff and food bits. So we need to pop over and return some curtains to the range, and there is a Starbucks drive-through in South End. So tomorrow, the Starbucks Kinder Bueno drink will definitely happen. Today, fate just said no. Oh look, there's two magpies again. Oh, oh. That's twice now we've seen two magpies. What does that mean? Extra joy or does it cancel it out? What's four magpies mean? Ooh. One for sorrow, two no, for joy. You, you didn't see them all at the same time. You've seen two lots no. of two. So it doesn't cancel it no, out, does it? Double joy. Double joy. Let's see what our joy is going to be. What's your bet? What do you think it's going to be? Uh, Starbucks will be open tomorrow. <laughs> Two achievements have occurred this morning, actually three technically, because we've got the IKEA furniture. Second thing is I've just sent off a job because I got home and my deadline was lunchtime and I've done it and I'm very pleased with myself. And third thing is we drove past McDonald's on the way home and I thought, no, it might be convenient, it might save time, but we've got veggies that need eating in the fridge. Now I don't know about you, but I think this is a strong contender with McDonald's. In this wrap I've got lettuce, red pepper, you can't actually see any of the red pepper. Oh look, there's a little bit peeking in there. And spring onion with halloumi and salad cream. Such an easy lunch, but super yummy and really fill in. And obviously, a little bit healthy too. You know when your day is just going a bit too well, and then life is like... Ha <laughs> ha, you thought. <laughs> Open packet of spaghetti, why you gotta do me like that coming out of the cupboard? I hope spag bowl wasn't on the menu tonight, otherwise my mum would be well disappointed when she gets home. Good morning everyone. I'm not actually channeling my inner GC this morning. I've actually got a really bad headache. It's Thursday mo morning, I've got hiccups as well. I can't fall in apart this morning. But we've come over to Priory Park in South End. We're gonna pop to the range as well after. And then we're gonna go to Starbucks and today the Kinder Bueno drink drink is definitely gonna happen. Sunny's loving the leaves in Priory Park this morning. But we had a bit of an incident when we got here. <laughs> Shall I tell them? So we pulled up in the car park and there was a car parked next to us. <coughs> oh, <laughs> the hiccups really add to the story. There's this car parked next to us and there was this woman on her own in the car. She had a couple of dogs with her, but she was like slumped over her steering wheel. The car wheel. was running. The car was running. <laughs> she was slumped over the steering wheel and mum turned to me and she was like, is that lady moving? Moving? And it didn't look like she was. So me being me i went can you go and check <laughs> i can never do stuff like that myself because i get so, so worried so mum goes up to her car knocks on the window because we didn't know if she was dead or if she passed out we thought she'd fainted but because the car was running and the dogs were looking out the window we didn't know if she'd been like that for quite a while so mum goes and knocks on the window and this woman just puts her head up she was just texting she was on her phone her phone was un under the steering wheel but because it's quite bright today she couldn't see what she was doing so end of the story is she was fine she was on her phone she laughed she was like thanks for checking on me anyway but we pa panicked a bit didn't we well you did i did <laughs> i'm a bit of a panicker in that sort of situation and now we're playing with leaves that's a big dog isn't it sunny <laughs> Oh, these hiccups are so annoying. Does anyone remember the last time we came here when we moved that big branch from this um, little water bit and saved the planet? Look at it now. Wow, look, you did that. You saved the waterfall. We're at the Starbucks drive-through now. I feel so excessive with these sunglasses on. I feel like a diva. My head just really hurts. This is the second try, second day in a row of trying to get the Kinder Bueno coffee. I've got a feeling they're gonna say they can't do it because I have to ask for the white chocolate iced mocha with a shot of hazelnut. The hazelnut bit I think will be fine. It's the white chocolate iced mocha that feels like I'm pushing the boat out a bit too much. drive throughs with Sunny are not ideal because she barks every time we stop. <laughs> so every time we pull forward a bit and then stop, she barks. <laughs> Let's see if she does it again. No. 
Oh. Yep. <laughs> Could I get a white chocolate iced mocha, please? Yeah, white chocolate iced white, uh, mocha. Could I also yeah. get a shot of hazelnut in there, please? Yeah. Why are you so barky now? Perhaps she wanted a latte. Yeah, she's like, I'd like a puppuccino. Oh, yeah. I'm excited to try this. Four pounds. I, four pounds, I know. How expensive. I, I did know. ask for the right thing, didn't I? White chocolate iced and mocha. Hazel. And hazel nut. Yeah. yeah. Okay, here it is. This is what it looks like. It looks exactly like the girls on TikTok, so I'm going to try it right now. I wouldn't usually get the cream on top, but she had it, so I did. <laughs> this is the moment of truth. Does this taste like a Kinder Bueno? I wouldn't say it tastes like a Kinder Bueno, but it is really nice. If Kinder Bueno's had coffee in it, then it would taste exactly like this. I'd recommend this. I'd definitely get this again. It's nice because I don't really like the Frappuccinos from Starbucks because I think some of them are quite thick and they've got like bits in them. I don't mind having bits in stuff like orange juice and stuff, but I just feel like they're more of a dessert than a drink. Whereas this is really smooth, I'd definitely recommend trying it, even if it is four pounds. It's definitely not gonna be a regular thing, <laughs> but for a luxury, maybe twice a year. Definitely. I think it's fair to say that is definitely my new favourite Starbucks drink. I finished that in literally about three minutes. It's all gone. Was it worth four pounds though? What do you think? For a treat? Yes. For a treat. I agree. You know when at the time you thought something was a good decision and now it's a really bad decision? Actually, what am I on about? This is still a good decision. Last week I was having one of those days and I randomly thought about this, but when I filmed a video with Evan, throwback to that, I tried loads of different American foods with him and one of the foods was carrot cake Oreos and I loved them. I saved that packet of Oreos that I bought in London on Oxford Street for as long as I possibly could because they are divine and they randomly popped into my head the other day and I couldn't stop thinking about them so I hopped online to see if I could find them and there is actually an American website that sells them in the UK. I think it's called A Taste of the States. I bought two family size packets didn't I? Yes these are £10 each. £10 for a packet of Oreos and I bought two but to be fair this is the only thing that I've actually bought since my spending ban and i said to my mum it's like a food shop right like food doesn't count surely but you best believe these are gonna last me a long time i don't eat these willy-nilly you can't be scoffing a whole packet of these at once if i offer these to anyone in my life they are a very special person because fab Han doesn't share carrot cake themed things <laughs> They open like a packet of wet wipes. Oh my goodness, they smell just as good as I remember. Look at them. They're carrot cake with like a cream cheese flavoured frosting in the middle. Oh my god, they are literally the nicest biscuits ever. Life is grand. Unbelievable. Worth 20 quid. Don't know why my doctor put me on antidepressants. They could have just given me a packet of these. Does the same thing. Gives me all the serotonin I need. That is a joke. See your GP if you think you have depression. Also, on that front, started weaning myself off my antidepressants now. So far, so good. Last week, I did like, I took one one day, missed the next day and did them alternate. This week I'm doing, I take one one day, then I have two day break, then I take one, then two day break. Next week I'm going to try and do, take one one day, have a three day break, and then one day and see how I get on. If I feel like I'm backtracking, then I will just start taking them a bit more regularly for the minute. But so far, so good. Woo! She's fab hand, she's almost antidepressant free, and she's got two packets of family size carrot cake Oreos. Absolutely winning. I've been editing my Agni Aunt video for at least... Three hours now, probably four. The time is quarter to four right now, so this is going up in an hour and 15 minutes, and it's still not complete. So having a mad panic, and then I'm gonna have to drive to my dad's office again to upload it. What a glamorous life, honestly. Oh, why is my internet so bad? It's the one thing I need for my job. I've had a busy morning this morning. I thought Friday was gonna be my quiet day, but no, I was wrong. I've been shooting some Instagram content this morning for a couple of different brands, I'm so pleased with the content I've shot. There is nothing more satisfying than getting a brief through that gives you complete creative control, which was the case this morning. And you can just run with the wind, go wild, do what you like, and then see if the brand like it. I find it really satisfying. So that's what I've been doing this morning. I've just had lunch and I am now on my way out to go and meet my friend Chelsea for a socially distanced walk. Really looking forward to it. Sunny's in the back with me. She's coming too. And we're gonna go for a walk around Chelsea's area. We usually go for a walk obviously around where I live, but it'll be nice to go somewhere different today. So I'm just driving to Chelsea's now. I'm gonna park at Chelsea's and then we're gonna go for our little walkies. I feel like I 
need a good bit of socialisation today because, I mean, we've had the decorator in a week. That's been my only form of socialisation this week. I just feel like I need a good old chat, you know? Good old natter. Nothing's wrong. I just like a chit chat every now and again. I want to hear whether Chelsea's been furloughed or not. I think she might have been because she works in a pub. I can't believe it's nearly Christmas. Also, I wanted to get all my Christmas shopping done during lockdown. So far, I've done none of it. But I'm also on a spending ban, so it's a bit of a dilemma. I can't do both. No idea what to buy people for Christmas this year. No idea. I think I'm going to text all of my friends and be like, look, we don't need to do presents, do we? We've got friendship. That is the gift. Here's Chelsea. Hello. We're here back together. I feel like I haven't seen you for ages, actually. No. When was the last time I saw you? When we went to cafe number 11, I think. Oh yeah, we went it's out like for lunch. Ago, oh, yeah. times of the past now. Anyway, we've come out for a little walk around Chelsea's local area. Local park. It's actually really massive. I didn't realise how big it was. No, it's nice though. I know. Look at this field. Look at the lovely sun setting as well. Isn't it beautiful? The sun setting already. <laughs> I know. What is the time? Uh, quarter past three. Quarter past three. That's an actual joke. Happy like winter. Seven. Does, doesn't it? I actually like the dark evening, so I can't lie. I feel like it's so cosy. She oh look. Care about me. She does care. Come on, Sunny. She's found something Hi. nice to sniff. <laughs> Sunny, where's Chelsea? Look at her little Dale going. She's loving it here. <laughs> loving running. I can't let her off the lead here though, just because I don't know where the gates are and stuff. So she's on her long lead though, she's fine. I'm back home now. Sunny has crashed on my coat. So weird, she like whines at me to sit on my coat when I take it off. She wants to make herself comfy in it, so she's down there having a nap. And I'm about to do something very exciting. So I had a new phone arrive this week. I ordered myself the iPhone 12 Pro. Not the big one, just the normal size one. I ordered it probably like three weeks ago now, and it was delivered on the 10th. When was that? Monday? Tuesday? But I haven't set it up yet. I've got it right here. I was going to say I treated myself, but to be honest, it's not really like a treat. I'm actually not that bothered about phones and stuff. I'm not really the type of person that needs the newest iPhone all the time. At the minute, I've got the iPhone X and I like it, but the main reason why I wanted to upgrade is because of the camera. I don't know what's happened to the camera on my phone. I feel like it might have been like when they were made. It seems to really overexpose my pictures and it lags quite a lot. And then when I heard that the camera on the iPhone 12 Pro was really good, I was like, okay, I'm going to make the jump. But how different is this iPhone box? They're usually always white. At least they have been when I've bought them. And it also doesn't come with the plug anymore. It just comes with the wire, which is so much better for the environment. So I'm going to set it all up and switch my data over. I've got a feeling it's going to be really easy. Just like put them next to each other. But I didn't want to set this up until I had a case. And I had this case arrive today. I didn't realise it comes with foam protectors. It's just a clear case for now. And then I'll get some cute ones a bit later on. And I've got some glass screen protectors too. So I'm going to set it all up. I'm really excited. I've also done the Apple trading program. So I'm going to send this phone back to Apple. And I think they valued it at £240. So they're going to refund that into my bank account. Which is great. It's such a good scheme. And it's so easy to send it back off. So yeah iPhone 12 Pro. Let's set it up and see what it's like. First up, I'm going to put the um, glass screen protectors on. I get so tense doing this. I'm so rubbish at it. Cinderella, Cinderella. Dust absorber, aka a sticker. Whew, I've never seen such a clean screen. How clever is this? Oh, I've just touched the screen. Oh my god, look, it's doing it. It's doing it. doing the sticky how satisfying is that here we go big moment i thought it might actually be handy to show you what's in the iphone boxes just in case you're thinking of getting the 12 pro or the 12 pro max i assume they're the same inside the box so obviously you get the phone then this is the wire you get it is actually different to the plugs that they have at the minute. Instead of the USB, it's like this. And this is the same as what plugs into a MacBook. So until I get an updated plug, I'm going to have to charge it from my laptop, which is a bit annoying. But I guess they've just changed the plug. And once you've got that plug, any future phones that you have, you can just use that. And then in here, I actually don't know what's in here. Oh, this is the little thingy to change the SIM over. And obviously the Apple sticker. Not sure why they still give these out. I've never used it personally. And that's it. That's everything you get. I just tried to take this out, but it doesn't come out. Just the wire, a sticker and the little pin. If you watched last week's vlog, you'll be happy to know. We got the cake this week. I went for the gingerbread cake. Also got a slice of this for my dad and mum went for carrot cake. We did try the end of each other's cakes. <laughs> but I'm so excited for this. I love gingerbread. Look at the little man as well. He looks like he's chilling in the snow. Is there actually anything better in this world than a slice of cake and a cup of tea? 
I don't think there is. Oh wait, there is. See, I am. <laughs> Guys, we are feasting tonight. ZZ come through with the home takeaway. I'm so happy about this. Thank you so much to the team at ZZ for very kindly gifting this to the family tonight. So mum has gone for a calzone, or is it a calzone? Let me know how you pronounce that. I have no idea. Dad has gone for the prawn linguine. That looks incredible. I have gone for my favorite dish ever in any restaurant. I can't remember how to pronounce it, but it's basically the chicken pesto pasta. I'll put the name on screen here. If you go to ZZ, I highly, highly recommend this dish. Unreal. You also get little pots of Parmesan cheese. We've got some sweet potato fries to go with as well. And desserts. Oh my giddy aunt. So dad went for the passion fruit cheesecake. Mum went for the salted caramel brownie and I went, I'm happy with my choice, honeycomb cheesecake. How unreal does that look? I reckon if I had to choose one meal to have before I died, the last meal of my life would be this chicken pasta, some garlic bread and honeycomb cheesecake. I'm living my best life today. I mean, hopefully this won't be my last meal. <laughs> but like I said, thank you so much to the team over at ZZ's. Defo guys, hop on the ZZ website see where your nearest one is click collect bam bob's your uncle got all this good nosh in your house nosh who do i think i am i am so full after our ZZ tonight you know when you eat so much you feel like you can't breathe or move that's how i feel right now but i've just had a nice relaxing bath and put a face mask on it's making me look proper spooky it's this one from eborian it's the Ginseng Royal Supreme Gold Mask. It's the first time I've used it and it felt like I was literally putting PVA glue on my face. It's really thick. And it's obviously also like this metallic-y white. I'm excited. Apparently it's going to make me look smoother, more plumped. Anyway, my loves, I am going to end this vlog here. Sorry, this one was a little bit shorter than usual. I'm trying to stick to around the 30 minute mark. I hope you're liking the length of these vlogs. It's so hard to judge. Some people say they want them longer. Other people say they're too long. I'm thinking 25 to 35 minutes is good. Let me know in the comments down below what is the best thing that has happened to you this week. My best thing is probably it's got to be the ZZ takeaway or the carrot cake Oreos. Both food based occurrences, obviously. Do subscribe to see my future videos. Stick around, join the fam. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope you have a lovely Sunday and a lovely week next week. And I'll see you again soon with another little video. Bye, guys. Love ya. I look like the moon with far less beauty. <laughs>